Hello, it's Gaz Day here, and today we are going to be talking some Doctor Who, okay? Um, cuz, I've got a theory, and I've seen a theory, and I believe this theory, and I think this theory is real, okay? I believe that the trickster is Ruby Sunday's father. I believe the trickster is the parent of Ruby Sunday, okay? There's so many things leading up to this theory. Um, so, it's Gaz Day. Let's just dig right into it. Let's go. So, what makes me believe, okay, is the cloak is one factor, okay? I was watching Sarah Jane. I'm getting my son currently into Sarah Jane. Um, we've been sat watching that. We came across the trickster's first episode, the one where he sends Maria back in time Basically, to try and stop her, stop her from thinking that Sarah Jane was a real person, blah, blah, blah. You know, yeah. Um, but, there was one scene in that where he walked in and it's the exact same boots. I don't know if it's the exact same boots, but it is boots. Okay, there is boots on the trickster. He's wearing boots. And then the person on the Church of Ruby Sunday is wearing boots. Also wearing the cloak that looks like the trickster. You might be saying, oh, this is an absolute waffle talk of a theory. But no. No, it gets more interesting than this. In the Devil's Card. In the Devil's... In the Devil's Card, okay. Maestro says that she has a secret song in her heart. On about Ruby. Ruby has a secret song Deep down in her heart. Now, I was watching Sarah Jane, and when the trickster was, when Sarah Jane had Maria the the box that keeps her safe from the trickster, there was a tune playing, and I was like, "Where does that sound familiar from?" And my partner was the one that pointed it out. That was the song that came out of Ruby. And my mind blew. And I rushed to the internet to see if anybody else has figured this out. And they have. There's a lot of people believing that this is the trickster's daughter. Okay? Because before we continue, before we continue, let me show you the tunes. I'll show you a quick snippet of, from the Sarah Jane and a quick snippet from the Devil's Chord. Devil's Chord. And it sounds the exact same. It's for you. Wow. It's beautiful. That's what I am asking you, just... What? That's wrong. Now, I do believe it is the trickster. I honestly do believe that the trickster will be coming into this. And Russell... I have seen stuff that Russell has been saying that he's been working on this for 40 years. This story has been in Russell's head for 40 years. Now, let me take you back to 2011. It would have been 2011, the last season of Sarah Jane Adventures. Elizabeth Sladen dies. Rest in peace. And we didn't get the rest of Sarah Jane, okay? Russell has come around and says that Sky. In the Sarah Jane Adventures, was the little girl that Sarah Jane found would have been the trickster's daughter, and it was originally supposed to be set on Christmas Day. What if? All these little things Russell, Russell A boy, has had set for Sarah Jane, he's had it in his mind for a long, 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 long time. What if he's finally took all these little things he was going to do with Sky and reworked it into Ruby Sunday. That's what I personally believe. Because the Toymaker and Maestro are pantheon gods. In the wedding of Sarah Jane, the Tenth Doctor also says that the Trickster is a part of the pantheon. Which means the Trickster is a pantheon God. Now Maestro says, the elder one, the one who waits. 
who is the elder one? I think it's the trickster. It's got to be the trickster, am I right? It's got to be. It's just, everything's pointing towards it. The little tunage, the little snippets of the Pantheon Gods. And we heard about Pantheon Gods for the first time in Sarah Jane Adventures. All this stuff with Ruby Sunday being found as a baby on Christmas. That sounds like the reworking from the Christmas special they were thinking about doing for Sarah Jane. That never happened. Instead, that got changed into the actual season where they still find Sky, but it was meant to be a Christmas special. So, this all works up. It all makes sense. And I have been getting my brain all racked up and I've been getting excited, working out theories for this. Okay? It is death and not play the trickster. And I will feckin' eat my beard if it isn't. Okay? I will shave it off and eat it. Don't count me on that, because I probably won't, but I am that convinced that it is the trickster. It can't be anyone else. I've seen another theory that it's going to be that it's Ruby that drops herself off at the church. I think that could happen as well. But how fun would it be if it was the trickster? Now, the trickster's a badass villain. A badass villain that... I personally wanted to see in Doctor Who years ago. Years ago. So, is it time? Is it time we get the trickster? I have no idea. I hope so. Let me know what you think down in the comments. This has just been a quick little rambling theory idea about Ruby Sunday being the trickster's daughter. Okay. It's been Gaz D. I hope you have enjoyed this. I don't know what channel I'm uploading this on, but, yeah, see you guys out there. Goodbye, hope you've enjoyed, see you next time. Goodbye.